G'day and welcome to another Browse the Bookshop with Tom. Uh, my name's Tom. Uh, we're here at Reformers Bookshop. Um, it's cold now. It's got cold all of a sudden. Uh, but that's good and we're glad to have you with us. If, if this is your first time joining us on a Browse the Bookshop um, tour, then the way it works is this. I've got a few books that I'd love to tell you about. We're going to have a wander around the shop today to look at them. Uh, and if you have any questions, if you have any requests in terms of books, then pop on the, the comments. Even if you're not watching it live, you can comment here and we'll, we'll come back and find them and let you know uh, some recommendations and some ideas to perhaps get a book that is helpful to you. Uh, but let's, let's get started. Let's have a look around. Um, I've picked a few books. Oh, before I begin, actually, I'm going to swivel over to here. But um, at the moment, we have a... Uh, a new website special that's going on, which has some really good pricing on, on the books, um, some bestsellers and, and some of our favourites we've put up there. So it's a great range. Check that out. They're all over 25% off uh, till the end of May. All right, so we're here in the church section, uh, and I want to show you this new book that's just come in. Uh, it's called One Assembly. It's by Jonathan Lehman of the Nine Marks Variety. So he, he's a pastor at Capitol Hill with Mark Dever. Uh, and they've written a lot of useful material about church. And this one here is particularly interesting. It's about multi-site and multi-service church models. Now, I don't know what your church is, but um, I think this book is really helpful if you are um, in any sort of position of having to decide what your church should do in terms of multiple services or multiple sites, or if you're just thinking about the topic in general. I suspect lots of people are going to disagree with how Jonathan Lehman comes at it. I suspect lots of people are going to agree with how he comes at it. But either way, he just works through what does the Bible actually say about this topic, um, and I think he does a, a good job of making you think about it, um, and we should all be thinking about how to make our churches more biblical, uh, regardless of where you stand, I think your, your position must always come out of the Bible. So that's a helpful new little book that's come in, if that's a topic that interests you. Uh, let's have a wander here over to the Christian life. I've got a few in this section. This is obviously one of our larger sections because it's so practical. Um, and so let's start up here. This is Singletair Ferguson's, it's an oldish book, but a, a goodie, goodie but an oldie. Um, called Devoted to God, and it's about sanctification. And he just works through the, the main texts in the New Testament to show you how to grow as a Christian, how to live a more holy life. Um, Ferguson's a great guy to listen to in that regard. Speaking of oldies and goodies, we've got this one here, uh, A Happy Old Age, which is a wonderful little book. I just started um, reading it myself, not that I'm all that old, but... I uh, started having a, having a read, and it's very, very helpful. Uh, it was written back in the 1800s by an Anglican bishop, and he just works through different areas that you might want to think about in your life if you're a bit older, um, or he's really thinking about people who are old. And, but you might not like the fact that you're old, but it's important, I think, to think through different areas um, of our life at different stages, he does a wonderful job, very, very practical, very short, very brief, but um, will help you to grow more even as you are old um, and to enjoy that and to make the most of that stage of life. Let me see. Here's, an, here's another one that's worth looking at. This is actually one of our favorites on, on special at the moment. It's called Untangling Emotions. It came out last year. Uh, we, had, we interviewed actually, um, Alastair Groves, along with Ed Welsh, about this book. And it's such a helpful book for men and women alike on how to look at your emotions. Um, I think the, the typical female approach, they say, is that you're ruled by your emotions, your emotions are everything. The typical masculine approach is that you don't have emotions and you're, you're particularly male Aussies. Um, but in this book, he presents a nice balanced picture of how your emotions do tell you something about what's going on in your heart um, and so you should you do need to hear something from them but also they aren't everything and we need we actually need to uh, mold our emotions so they're more godly as well 
that's well worth a look. All right. In this time, I think, too, of um, a little bit more, bit more solitude, this book is helpful. Um, it's called Solitude Improved by Divine Meditation. It's a Puritan work, which means it's meaty. Uh, but the chapters are incredibly short, actually. So it's got lots and lots of chapters, but they're uh, five pages or less each. Uh, and so I, I was looking through this and I thought, you know, this would be a really good book just to read a chapter a day um, to help you think through. This is what the Puritans do so well, just to help you systematically think through all the different aspects of what it means to meditate on God's Word, how to integrate that into your life, what sort of things to meditate on. Um, and I think it's a, a, a topic that we need to think more about in our busy and distracted world um, where whenever we have a moment we're onto our phones um, instead of sitting and making time to think about the Word of God and about what it means for us. So that's worth looking at as well. Uh, last one I'll, I'll pick out in here is this book here. This is called Is This It? Uh, this book's written for 20-something year olds. Um, really, it's that sort of time of your life these days when you go through um, that, what do, what do they call it, the crisis? Early? <laughs> it's, not, it's not midlife crisis, it's, it's a different type of crisis when you're um, adulting or something like that. But um, essentially, if, there's, if you're at that stage of life where you're trying to work out, what do I do? What do I, what do I mean to think about marriage? What do I do about the fact that I'm single? And I, what do I do with my life? What sort of job should I do? All those questions that come up. There's a stack of different books that we would recommend. But this is where I would actually start because Rachel Jones has gone through and she's put together 12 chapters that brilliantly summarize really the, the literature that's out there, the books that are out there, and applies it to your life to show you uh, across all of those areas how should you think about it, what's the biblical way of living uh, and the biblical way of thinking about all of these different questions that come up, particularly at that stage of life. There we go, a few different books around age. Uh, let's pop over here, this is our devotional section. Um, this one was a new one last year. It's by Paul Tripp. So very well-known um, author, and unbeknownst to me, Paul Tripp loves poetry. And so he has written, um, over the years I presume, little bits of poetry. Um, and it's presented in this beautiful book. I can imagine this sitting on my coffee table, uh, and nice illust nicer photographs that go with it. And as I was reading through these poems, I was just struck by how... Poetry has a way, I think, of making you uh, consider things from a different angle. It sort of draws you in and then slugs you one in the guts sometimes, or, or it draws you in and, and you get surprised by the glory of what you're looking at. Um, and so Paul, um, Paul Tripp works through a bunch of different ideas around the Christian life and around the gospel and around who God is in these poems, and I think they will be uh, most beneficial to anyone's heart um, who picks that book up. Maybe a good one to have on your coffee table. Help you meditate, as we were thinking about earlier. Uh, last one for today. We'll see if there's any... No, if you have any questions or any requests, send them through. Uh, this one here. This is brand new. It's released as, as of June 1. Uh, but we've got some stock in now, so they're starting to go out. It's called The Prisoners, The Earthquake and The Midnight Song. So if you're familiar with this series, The Tales That Tell the Truth series... Bit of a tongue twister. Uh, the Garden, the Curtain and the Cross is probably the best selling in the series and is a fantastic overview of the Bible. But all of these books are very helpful in bringing kids to understand something of the Bible. Some of them are talking about Bible truths. A lot of them are looking at Bible stories. So Daniel or Lazarus or Peter's being forgiven um, and you can see the rest. And this one here is along the same lines. It's a Bible story. It's about Paul and Silas in prison um, and the earthquake that happens. And I'll leave it there for now. Um, you can might see a bit more of that one later, I'm sure. But that's a new release that's coming out. Well, we've had a quick little browse around the bookshop. 
hope you've enjoyed it. It's been good having you along. Again, even if it's not live right now and you want to ask a question, pop it into the comments or message us on Messenger or give us a call. We're always happy to help you find a good Christian book.